Hey y'all, update on the Cowie, the side stand issue with the chambers. I've got standoff. Um, I cut off the extension over here that you, that you used to kick. So no matter how you bent it, it was going to, the extension was going to hit before the side stand was even up all the way or before the side stand even touched the chambers. So I'll show you what I did. Cut the extension off here and then reshaped it, re-angled it. So it's going to sit like that at about a 30 degree angle. And that gives, that lets the stand come up all the way. Um, the stand still won't come up all the way, but it'll come up to where this right over here is going to touch the chamber. So that's up a lot higher than it used to be. And then this will extend out, comes underneath the, say here's the chamber, it comes up underneath the chamber, about a half inch clearance, and then out on the outside about so. So that'll work. I'll uh, take these over to a friend's when he gets home later today and drop them off and he'll do the welding for me. One thing people have asked about is the uh, what bag I'm carrying using on the bike. Um, this is a Krieger US 20. I do like the Krieger products. First time I saw one years ago. Oh, somewhere in the 20 teens. Uh, friend of mine was wearing a Krieger R25 backpack and I looked at that setup and that was the nicest harness setup I've seen on a backpack. I bought one after that and I have to say that's the best backpack I've ever used on a motorcycle. I love the parachute style harness system that it uses so it's nice and secure, doesn't move and very comfortable. So I'll give a close up of the US 20. Excuse my hand, I think arthritis is starting to set in there. That hurts. So this is the US-20. It's a dry bag. Um, unrolls, opens from the top. Just like any dry... Ah, oh, my hand. Just like any dry bag. I've been really impressed with the way this is. So this just rolls up few times and then this part both sides clips in and it's sealed on the top you do have a zipper pocket I don't think this is waterproof maybe water resistant but not waterproof more like that wind resistant material but I just put some of my park passes in there it's extra set of gloves Maybe some GoPro batteries, just things like that that I want easy access to without having to open up the whole bag. On the back, you've got a mesh, mesh pouch. Oh, all the zippers. You can see they all slide up into a little thing to secure them so they're not flapping around. So the mesh pouch, I just keep the extra straps, whether it's the waist strap or if you want to wear it like a backpack, just a sling pack strap or something that slings over you. And then extra harnesses to tie down the pack. You could set up the pack a few different ways. You know, you could use the loops that you'll tie around your grab rail and then come hook up to this. To these and so when you oh you know no they will uh, hook up to here so take the pack off when you're hooked up to the grab rail you just unclip it all four take the pack off but I don't use the grab rail one I use the the Triumph has got loops that are secured underneath the seat so I have mine all on the outside and you just slide these through the loops and that's how I secure them so very secure setup, been really happy with it. Put these parts in, a couple parts I need to bring over to a friend's. Okay, so just close the top, roll it over. And then you roll 
pull over your flat with the D rings over here. So you just clip it onto the sides. That's secured. You've got another strap that you could use to adjust depending how much, how tight you want it that clips over the top here also. So yeah, you basically got three different fasteners here to close the top. You got D rings here also. You can stack it with multiple packs. I think you can even hook it up to your Hard 25 backpack if you want to. So you can set this on the bike with the D rings on it. You can stack it up, put a smaller one on top, bigger one on the bottom, stack it up, hook up a couple more on the sides, run them like saddlebags, however you want it. So this my setup right here. Oh, excuse me, my my hand keeps tweaking. Hopefully, I'm able to ride today to bring this to my friend's house. So, said these I gotta loosen. I gotta tie less stuff in there, so that's easy. Just like any other strap, loosen. And nice thing, these straps do have these clips so you can just put your excess strap through. So, you try them. Just got that there. Got it loose. Keep it on the loose side till I get everything hooked up and adjust it how I want it. Take it out of these clips. So I just center it on the bike, give it a good little snug down and keep it centered. clips keep it out of the way sometimes like on the back where I'll have more sticking out I'll set it up and just loop it back put the top through the clip on top That's all there is to it. Nice and secure. Great setup. I love these Prego bags. Okay, I'm gonna give you a close-up view of how I run my straps. There's that strap that comes out from the Triumph seats. That's what I use. Hook up to these and then run the excess strap through these clips. When I take it off the bike, I'll just leave that there. If I'm going to be around, I just need to take this pack off. I'll just unclip right here. All four got the pack off. And on the back, I just run the extra strap back up after going through the clip down here and back up through here. You know, you can take this part, if you want, secure it around or turn the pack around however you want it. I like leaving the opening to the back. If I just want to get something out of the back, I just unclip the rears and open up the back and I can take it right off here. That works for me. So that's my Kriega US-20 setup. They do make a US-10, which is a bit smaller. For this bike, I went with the US-20. I thought it would be work out the best. Well, uh, you know, you could strap it down so it's smaller, let it expand out bigger. So for me, that just works out great.